All right, guys, next target here for me this morning. Picked up another three ringer. And it looks like this one is probably shot. Fired. I'm down in some low ground area here, real close to a swamp. You see how low ground we are in here. But we'll take that. Alrighty. Well, we got another one in the pouch. Alrighty, guys. Well, let's see what else we get into, and we'll see you at the next one. All right, guys, caught up with Daniel. Uh, He's been working a nice patchy area here. It's just loaded with iron. And as you can see here, he's been digging up a lot of this stuff here, up underneath the trees and all up in here. Been working up in here just a little bit more too. Uh, gotten a good number of uh, targets out of here. And uh, how you doing there, buddy? Good. Yeah, man, boom. Getting a few relics out of here, ain't you? Yeah. All right. I think one of the, got a few bullets and stuff right there. Got a melted Williams cleaner. And another melted bullet. Got a carved uh, three ringer. Got a couple of drop, 58 caliber three ringers. Two of those. That one's real nice. It's got a nose cast on it right there. Let's see here. Got a couple of percussion caps. He's pulled out of here, spent P-caps. And then you can see a four-hole button right there, small one. This ring right here looks like it's the top to a, a watch. It goes up on the little knob on the top. And then, what is that? Is that that little button? Yeah, yeah. The little teeny tiny ball button. And some more melted lead pieces here. And then his best find out of here is a infantry eye coat button check that out man that is super super woo nice nice find right there buddy and then not too far from where he dug that at um another fellow was in here and he dug a eagle c coat a cuff button rather not too far from here so i'll post that up in the video and so you guys can see that Got it done, man. Yeah. Got a few targets out there. Bam! All right. All right. All right, guys. Well, he's going to work on covering a bunch of this back up. And then it is about 12 o'clock, so we're going to go get some lunch. Um, it's been slow for me. But anyhow, uh, we're going to cover some more ground, see what else we can get into. we still got over a half a day to go on day two and uh, see what we can get into. But I uh, heard of another fella had dug a U.S. box plate and I think there was an infantry eye, uh, CS button dug, and a Virginia button dug. So we're going to go see if we can uh, go check those out, get some lunch, and then we're going to get back at it. All right, guys. We'll see you all in a little bit. Alrighty guys, we're back at it and we're gonna work along this field for a little bit. See what we can get into here, work these bottoms, and we will get back with you. Alright guys, just walking along through this field here, looking down. I am looking for points and check that out. I think that's gonna be a tip right there. What do you guys think? Look like she's broke. That definitely looks like a point to me. Oh, maybe there'll be some other pieces in here. Alrighty. Let's see what else we can get into. See y'all shortly. Alright guys. Taking a break here. Come over and check on Buddy and Daniel. Got a big old hole going on right here, man. Got a few good items out of here. What y'all got going on, buddy? Oh, uh, got a few buttons and a... Yeah, 1855. Uh, 1855 Williams. Cool. What else you got there? Got a regular general service eagle button. Had another one, but with the fire pit, it was very brittle. And then another eagle eye. Oh, look at that. Very, very nice, buddy. Very nice. And then down here at the bottom, found this. Look at that monster key. Good go, man. 
That is monster, man. Heck yeah. That should clean up nice. Let's see that button again. Another eagle eye. Sweet, man. All right. Let these guys get back at it. on the side wall there. It's gonna be lead. Huh? It's gonna be lead, I can hear. Nice one. <laughs> you hear that? Oh, no, juicy. Yeah. We <laughs> still got burnt stuff down in there. Yep, another big scoop, shovel scoop for him. Go in back on the edge of the hole. <laughs> Oh yeah, you see burnt wood down in that back corner where he was just pulling out a Yeah, see all that burnt ash down in there? Keep hey. ball keeper. Ball keeper oh, look at that. <laughs> you know what that means, don't you? It's oh, probably a play. It's oh, it's got, is that leather? It's leather. It's leather on there. Yeah, be easy. Be easy. That means the belt could be in here. Mm. Yeah, it's got leather on it. Running machine down in there again? That belt could be over here or over here. That's it. Yeah, that's got leather on it, man. Check that out. That is too no, cool. No, it's just the burnt wood. No, no that's leather, leather dude. Your yeah, hooks yeah, are through it. Hold it over. See if the other piece. It, see if that other piece of brass is down in the hole. Check all your dirt you just pulled back to you. That little ear came off. It's down mm -hmm. in. It's that the ear. This ear that's yeah, folded yeah. over. This one it folds over right there. There might be some more of that leather in there. Take your shovel, Daniel, and scoop. Let's see if there's any more leather in there. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Just scoop around that area and see if there's any more leather. Is that it? Got it. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I cannot hear that. Like a machine just there. Nope. Like heard... Check that out. That is so cool. Got it. Yeah. The whole belt in there. Yep, that belt was laying in there, man. That it could be over that way another foot or back this way a foot. That is too cool. He's found his plate, so. No, we can't rush. Is that can't that's rush. leather right there too? Look at that. This is the edge right here. That is. Yeah, it's edge. Okay. I think that's leather too right there. See that? Yeah. See how it's soft? Yeah. That's the impression. Yeah, that's the impression right there. But that feel that right there. Touch that. That's leather. Yeah. Yep. Hey Daniel, if it's laying down, it's gonna be laying through here, so you gotta more leather. That is cool. Well, you guys probably need to dig out some more of this one. 
gonna take this and then go this way or are you gonna start up too? Mm -hmm. That is cool. Well, we're gonna let them dig some more out here. See what else they can get out. So they got a few buttons, a couple bullets, and a belt keeper. All right, boys, we got something else out of this hut here. Look like they got themselves an inkwell. Each sided style. Uh, something like this. It might, might not be broken all the way around. Uh, there it is. Oh. Very, very nice. A little bit on the top, but the rest of it ain't in there. If it is, we need to sift it to find it, probably. Nice. nice. Heck yeah. Good job. Congrats. That stuff could be laying everywhere. It is laying everywhere. We just ain't nobody got on top of any of them. Oh, I'll come over here. See what they doing over here. All right, guys, uh, just located myself a nice little pit here. Got a pile of iron down in here, trash, debris. Been pulling out a whole bunch of nails and stuff. You see the soil line here, burnt wood and stuff like that. In the last five minutes, I pulled out uh, a lock to like a little box, a hinge, and one cool, cool pipe bowl. Check that out. That is so super, super cool. But I like that, but got some more nails and stuff, but we're going to work on this and uh, dig some more out of here. Alrighty guys, we will see y'all shortly. Alrighty guys, well that is it. That is just a fire pit is all that turned out to be. A lot of ash and stuff, but did get a few good things out of it. Uh, let's see, got the pipe bowl. Got the hooks to a belt plate out of it. Got part of the plate. And got a lock to a cabinet, some melted lead, a four hole, 10 button, and some other little knickknacks, but and a bunch of nails. But anyhow, I'm gonna cover this one up and we're gonna look for another one. Alrighty guys, see y'all shortly. Alrighty guys, well, I left from over there. You can see the guys up there on the hill up there. They're up there digging some trash pits and stuff like that. So I decided to get back to surface hunting. Came back up here on this ridge, and my first signal here is a Sharps carbine. Looks like it's been fired. 52 caliber. Yep, yep, we'll definitely take that. And then we'll see if we can get, get something else. Alright guys, see you on the next one.